I kind of wanted to go forward and go like And making the games. I wish you could just do it on every single day. I just, I just love the coding club. I just really like it. Well, actually, there is one thing I don't like. <laughs> There's not enough time to do everything. <laughs> I, was, I felt like I was the only one in my family that uh, didn't have anything special, but it made me unique. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing is um, I love how oh, they already had the instructions, so when you have no idea what to do, you could just follow the instructions. But I also liked how there was one day where you could make anything you wanted. It didn't have in, um, there, we could make anything we wanted. Anything involving computers is pretty much a life skill nowadays, so it was great. The kids were so excited about it. I had a waiting list. There were more kids that wanted in than could possibly, I could fill. I didn't have that many Chromebooks. I liked how we got to do our own things. Um, the kids were so excited that sometimes it was hard for them to actually even want to listen to me. They wanted to get right to it. Um, and there were times that things actually for them, because kids know so much, they do it so quickly. So one of the things that I really had to do during sessions was push them further and, and come up with questions that could guide them into making, you know, an even more elaborate game design. So that was really fun for all of us to do. And then it was nice because the kids would show the other kids, okay, well this was what I'm doing, you know, check this out. So it was very engaging across the board for both the adults and the kids, so that was nice. I like how like, you were able to like, design anything you wanted and if they didn't tell you what to design or what you had to. Yeah, so uh, one of my favorite things is that if they needed help, the first thing that the students were encouraged to do was to ask each other and to talk to each other. So it kind of gave them the opportunity to really um, collaborate with one another. We also had the high school students from CAP, which was great. So they, some of them didn't know Scratch, but they were able to kind of come in and learn with the kids and um, kind of help keep them on task. And then our gurus from YouTube were amazing. And just getting to see sort of what someone in the field looks like and getting to hear their story and understand sort of more of their background and what they get to do and what it's like to work at YouTube, which, I mean, all of our kids are on YouTube, so it was really exciting. Pretty much nothing. <laughs> It was a gr it was one of the, it was my first club and I w I'm glad it was my first club. So uh, there was a lot of excitement. The topic we picked was games, so they were really excited to know how to make games, um, and they were very responsive to it. The program itself was pretty easy for the kids to follow and to learn how to do everything. I had a couple great Google volunteers that would come every, we met twice a week and they were always here. And in the beginning the kids would have a lot of operational questions, but I started to notice about halfway through the volunteers weren't needing to work quite so hard. At first it was like going from student to student, but then it kind of eased up because the kids really learned how to run the programs and how to follow the directions to accomplish what they wanted to accomplish. So the way Google wrote the program was is pretty good because you could be self-taught on it. What I thought was uh, that the coding club was kind of like coding things other than video games, like coding computers, making uh, programs, but it soon changed when I figured out that coding it was like, it means I would be making video games, which was even better than I expected. And I think one of the best things about the um, coding club was definitely that the, the interface was really easy to use. They just, once they got their login done, you don't really need to know a lot of tech. Um, if you get really stuck, hopefully the kids can help you out. And with the gurus, there's, they didn't have to do a lot. You know, it was really easy to run and manage. Well, I just thought it would be fun, but after after the class, I, it, I, it was more than fun. It was just, 
And it's also you're learning a new skill, but it's really fun. Um, and what about the gurus who came? What did you guys think about them? They're very nice. Yeah. Just coding would be useful in the future. Just in case, like, if I want to be a game developer, I would need to know how to code to make games. And yeah. One of the things was that they actually got to work with kids that they don't necessarily work with, so it was kind of a nice, comfortable place where they were able to, you know, try out things, and it was a really safe space. People could try, you know, the kids could try whatever they wanted, and so just sort of an easy introduction to see, you know, what coding is all about and if it's something that interests them. I learned how to code because I never knew how to code before. I made a. Uh, a racing game. I tried to tinker with a dodgeball game. Uh, I made a platform game and many more. I can't name them all because I forgot. Wow. Something that I liked was just basically the things we did because they were really fun and we had some good activities and yeah. I I never designed a game. And I was very impressed that I designed the game. I think a big thank you goes out to Google for doing this. Actually, Google and the San Bruno Education Foundation because they sponsored this for us. They sponsored the teachers. Google provided the program. Everything is free. And they provided volunteers to make it happen. So I think, I think that was a great community effort.